<laughs> so uh, yeah, milking a cow has not been bad for us. No, it's been really nice. people it's a crisp fall morning I love this weather I love being able to put on a couple jackets whatever I need and as it warms up I'll peel it off I imagine by this afternoon it'll be just a t-shirt kind of day looks like we might get some rain I don't know started off the morning looked all nice and sunny my uh, my phone weather apps telling me rain's gonna begin and couple minutes but kind of looks like rain so we'll see all right let's go up here get the pig feed and then we will uh, move those guinea hogs they need it the already cramped shed now has all of our citrus hiding in it and an artichoke because uh, we got some really cold weather coming I don't know how I feel about having this little shed crammed full with even more stuff but that's gonna have to work we uh, usually bring the citrus in the house but there's no room this year the uh, soap stuff is taking up the spot that the citrus was living in last winter someone had said why don't we try putting some some plastic over a couple of those arches and having a little makeshift greenhouse I might do that that sounds like a good idea but we'll see all right you mind carrying the camera while I carry buckets Well, they like it so much they want to wear it. Dude. So those of you who have been here a while, this spot we cleared about a year ago. Yeah, actually we did it in November. <clears throat> I gave it a break this summer and it has turned into a jungle. There's all sorts of good stuff to eat. So I'm gonna get the pigs in here before fall really happens. We've got a couple more weeks before all the leaves are gone. Uh, right now the leaves are food. So I'm gonna put the guinea hogs in here and they'll clear it for me. And then what's left, I can come behind, I can cut all the sticks down. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll enjoy being in here. I notice every time I move them for two to three weeks, they just look really, really fat. <laughs> er, fat er. Sure enough, it is sprinkling. The sun is shining and it's sprinkling on us. <laughs> all right, let's get this done before they finish their food. All right, that wasn't too bad. Seems like every time I move the thing, either from the top of the hill or the bottom of the hill, I always wind up slipping in the mud. So I wanted to get out here before it's really muddy, get that moved. All right, I'll give the camera back to you. I'll grab the other uh, fence. Okay, I'm gonna go around, put all my posts up, get the fence tightened up, and then we'll uh, we'll go milk the cow. Good morning, Buggy. What are you doing? You look like you're up to no good. Up to no good. Getting into everything. What are you making already? Uh, rice pudding. Rice pudding. 
All right. You've uh, taken to making breakfasts that you can just like do real quick, and then yeah. she likes she likes coming and milking with me, which I very much appreciate yeah. because it makes it go a lot faster, and I have someone to talk to. Yeah. Besides the cow, I mean, right. Daisy's nice, but she's not. It's not know, a great conversation. No. Get that going on. Yep. And we'll go out and get our milking done. So this is actually becoming part of our favorite time of the day. Yes. It's coming out here to milk. It's kind of changing our routine. It has changed our routine mm -hmm. and we're enjoying it. We, uh, we kind of get to come out here first thing in the morning and the kids have been watching Buggy and we've just gotten to have alone time have for a long time, time for like, talk. you know, like half an hour. It's what amazing. So uh, yeah, milk and a cow has not been bad for us. No, it's been really nice. Oh, look at her Good up morning. here waiting. She's like, you guys are late. She's like, you got <laughs> treats? Give me the treats. No treats right now. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Come on. Good girl, Good Daisy. Girl. Oh, psych. <laughs> it's because it's because we're filming, huh? It is. Good girl. There we go. Thank you, Mama. Good girl. All right. So we're at about two and a half gallons. Mm -hmm. Time to go get the baby, yep. put the baby on, she'll let down. We'll get more. Good morning, Good morning biscuit. biscuit. Are you Good ready? Good morning. You wanna go see mama? There, there go. we go. There you there go. There we go. Good, Good morning. morning. He's like, oh, oh. Yeah, that's how I feel getting out of bed in the morning too. <laughs> Look, I know the drill. All right. She's like, give me the treats. Give me the treats. There we go. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Good girl. We got probably close to three gallons. Uh, that's more than more than we're gonna drink today. Right. Good amount of cheese. We were laughing that. How did we get to the point where we have to make cheese and have to make butter? <laughs> what a what a predicament to have. It's it's not a problem at all. I'm gonna go grab the lawnmower. We'll take down this fence. We'll drag this into the next paddock. Rinse and repeat? Yep. Happy cows. New grass. This is a real long, skinny paddock. So the more we've done this, you know, talking to my neighbor, he was saying, yeah, there's, there's not enough grass. You got to feed them this much hay and yada, yada. We have so much grass. This is like two and a half, maybe pushing three acres. If you were to count everything, I guess you could probably find, you know, little extra places here and there. There's places that I get to run them that I cannot physically get the lawnmower, like this hill. The camera does not do it justice, but look at that cow standing there. This hill is so steep, like I can drive the lawnmower down, but it's, uh, it's kind of falling with style. It's no fun. Coming out here weed eating, trying to mow it, it's no fun. Well, I can run them on this hill. They'll do the job gladly and they get stuff that I can't get. Now, mind you, in here, the stuff that's like too big and woody, they don't eat. They want this younger, like you can see the color difference. Nice and green there. She's loving life. Old woody stuff, not so good. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'll run them through these areas and then I'll come through and I'll weed eat or chop and drop or whatever I need to do, get all the old woody stuff out and let the new, healthy, delicious, what does Jill Salatin call it? It's the, uh, the ice cream. It's the young, tender, teenage grass. Let that stuff start coming through. Uh, some of you might think this is a, a lot of work to do. It's really not. If I had a job I had to be to by say seven o'clock, something like that, I would just be out here at five. No big deal. I like to get up early. I'm, I'm a morning person. 
it really wouldn't be a big deal. I really don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger sooner on getting a cow. I'm loving it. This is awesome. Don't be grumping. We're gonna pour the milk, see how much we got. Two and seven eighths, almost, yeah. almost three gallons today. Yep. And this one, you're just all kinds of handful today, huh? All right, so that's gonna do it for us. One thing we did, we filmed it last night. We planted garlic. Yes. Finally got some garlic in the ground. A little ground. later than we should have, but whatever. Right. <laughs> done is better than. That's right. Not done. Yes. Done is better than perfect. Yes. It's not perfect. <laughs> Weird. This is the. The fly by the seat of your pants homestead. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, uh, if we get it done, good. We'll put the clip here. Oh, you, my turn? Okay, come on. Mama, pick me up. There we go. Here's that clip, and uh, I guess uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.